welcome to part 3 of this Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorial. Uh, last episode, we took a look at creating country tags and coloring our country. All of this took place in the common folder. So we're going to be moving on over to our history folder. Now, what can you find in the history folder? Well, if we look at the game's files, there are three files in here. Another one called Countries, not to be confused with the one called Countries found in your common folder. This is a different one. One called States. Uh, this one is, well, state IDs, all of that, who owns a state. Units, this tells the game what units you start out with. And then, uh, I don't think I said Countries is... Um, what the country's starting ideology is, what the country's um, leaders are, um, yeah, stuff like that. So we are going to create one of each of these. It's a new folder called, that's not what I wanted to type, countries, new one called states, and a new one called units. Cool. So, we're going to start by going to countries in both of them. As you can see, the name of your folder is always going to be your country tag, dash, then whatever the name of your, the full name of your country is. So, I create a text document. Mine will be tut space dash space tutorial. Alright. So, we're going to open that up. Ours is blank, and we're just going to open up Afghanistan's. So this is going to have our capital, which we do not know yet, so I will leave that blank. Order of battle. So this is what I was talking about goes into the units folder. So this tells the game okay, what units do you start out with. So ours will be tutorial underscore 1936. Uh, technologies. So these are the starting technologies that you have uh, at the beginning of the game. So we're just going to copy uh, Afghanistan's for now. I did not mean to put a plus, that's supposed to be an enter. Or, yeah. So we're just going to have infantry weapons, a great war tank, and a basic light tank. We can always edit this later, so it's by no means the uh, starting one. Uh, now we have down here, if you use the 1939 start date, you will have things such as how much political power you start out with, uh, what focuses you have completed. Now, since we will have a uh, custom focus tree, this will not remain the same, but for now, we're just going to copy it over. Uh, different order of battle, so you will have different units in different places, uh, different technologies, and yeah. So we're just going to copy that over. We will edit this later. There we go. Then we have politics. So let's go ahead and copy that over. So this is what ruling party do you have? Do you have elections? How often the elections are? And if the elections are allowed? Uh, we are going to stay in neutrality. Uh, we're going to say that we do actually have elections. When was the last one? I don't know. Let's say 1934 on... May 1st. Let's go. All right. Once we have that, popularities. How much of each ideology do people like? So, obviously, being neutra neutral, uh, you're not aligned. Neutrality means not aligned. Uh, you will want uh, neutrality to have the highest score. Uh, we're actually going to lower it a bit though. We're going to say we have 70. Uh, we'll put all of them there so you can see what all of them are. Democratic equals, let's go with, ooh, I don't know. Actually, let's move this to 60. We'll have 20 democracy, then 15 fascism, five that. So we have a decent mix. 
um, and keep in mind what the names of each of these are because for some I don't know why fascism and communism end in their isms democratics I, I don't know. The names are weird and down here we will have country leaders uh, probably next episode we will go into country leaders um, for now we are just going to copy this one over so we're just going to have the uh, leader of Afghanistan for now. And then finally, what the government will look like in 1939. I'm actually going to put this above uh, country leaders just for organization's sake. But yeah. Now, you for Afghanistan, in their case, they only have one leader starting out, and it's only for... Um, not aligned, so the rest of theirs will be generic and randomly generated. Uh, if we put another leader, and let's say we made it uh, communism, that means when we turn, if our country would ever become communist, instead of having a generic leader, we will have our own leader. And then you can also have core commanders, but I'm not going to create one, at least not now. So yeah, so we are pretty much just Afghanistan right now. Now we... Before we go with anything else, we should probably figure out where is our country. So what the capital is looking for up here is what state is our capital in. So we're going to save that. And we're going to open up Hearts of Iron 4. All right. Once you're into the game, just start up a new game. Whatever you really want. It uh, doesn't really matter what country you play as. Let's just go Germany. We are going to find where our country is going to be. Where will tutorial be placed on the map? All right. So really don't even bother playing. We just want to find where our country will be. So just I mean, just look around what what states look nice to you. Um, try and make something pretty cursed. I just tie roll. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do tie roll. Sorry, Austria. Okay, so, tie roll. Once you've decided on your state, you can leave Hearts of Iron 4. Just remember what it is. I always keep a piece of paper next to me, so I can always remember and write down what states I want. So, you're going to open up on the Hoi4 wiki, there is a list of states, and we're going to find Tyrol. That is state number 153. What does that mean? Well, that means if we are to go back into our mod folders, we go into our own mod, we go into History and States, then we go into history states here. If we're going to go down to, what is it? One, yep, 153. Scroll down. There it is. Copy and paste. Remember, never edit the actual files. That's how you mess up your game. All right. So if we open it in our mod folder, it'll say owner Austria. Uh, it's a core of Austria. Now what we can do is we can say the owner is actually tutorial. It is a core of tutorial, although we can say that maybe Australia claims it. Now you can either put claim or core, just claims have less credibility. Now the Anschluss, we are actually going to just get rid of this. So we don't, you can still play the 1939. And I'm actually also going to add an arms factory, so military. Military factory. I'm just going to add one, just so then you're not completely screwed at the beginning of the game. Alright, you have your manpower up here. If you want to make it overpowered, just add a zero, but I don't think I'm going to do that. At least not yet. And also, remember, uh, we did not see our uh, state... Uh, 
capital. So we can put 153. Tyrol is now our capital. So the, whatever city's in Tyrol, that will become our capital. There we go. So I believe that will be the end of this episode. What have we done this episode? Well, our country is now on the map. But our country doesn't have any leaders or flags or even a name yet, which I will show you how to do next episode. Thank you for watching.